The Ag Week Soil Health Minute is sponsored by the North Dakota Corn Council and the North Dakota Soybean Council. Interseeding cover crops into corn is a current focus of NDSU research and extension. In this Soil Health Minute, Abby Wick shows us one component being studied within a USDA project. We're down here in Rutland, North Dakota at a project where Dave Franzen and I, along with several other colleagues at NDSU, are looking at interseeding cover crops into corn. In these fields, we have cereal rye, camelina, and radish interseeded into corn at five to eight leaf. And our goal in doing that is to get cover crops established so when the corn is harvested, those cover crops already are growing, they're there, and they're ready to take off. One of the common concerns of interseeding a cover crop into corn is that that cover crop will compete for water and nutrient resources. So I wanna show you what the cover crops look like within the corn rows, and then here where we've taken out the corn and let the cover crop grow. So within the corn rows, we have actually, this is the size of the radish that was interseeded in the corn rows. When we get out here to the cover crops that, that haven't been limited by shade, you can see that the growth is much greater and that those cover crops are much larger. When I see these two side by side, the radish from within the corn row and the radish outside the corn rows, you can see that the, that the shade is suppressing that cover crop and keeping it from competing. So the cereal rye that we planted at 40 pound per acre rate has established and it's growing decently in the soil. We also seeded two pounds of winter camelina. However, I don't see any indication that it's established. You can learn more about interseeding corn and also interseeding soybean at an upcoming field day on August 15th. You can look for that information and the agenda online at ndsu.edu slash soil health. This project is being led by Maricel Birdie, a professor of crop and forage production.